Hello everybody. Today we're going to be testing Mike Cope's Texas two-step with the trend. Uh, we're going to be starting with $25 units. That's going to be the base unit. Uh, the way it's going to go like this. Uh, if you want to write this down. I had to write it down because I watched his video. Uh, matter of fact, Mike Copes got a great channel. I went through uh, a few of his videos. I like his style. Uh, you know, I never uh, looked at other people's videos until a couple of weeks ago. So I started looking at how everybody else is doing it. I like Mike Copes. Uh, he's got a great style. So uh, the Texas two-step, I'm gonna try to do it the way that he's doing it, but I'm gonna use the trend. He calls it the flow. So it's gonna be Texas two-step with the trend. $25 base unit. If you miss, you stay at 25. If you win 25, you shimmy up to 50. If you win the 50, you go back to 25. If you miss the 50, then the 50 becomes your base unit. Uh, I wrote all this down, so if you miss it, you can go back and re rewind. Now, if you miss the 50, then, then the 50 becomes your base unit. When you have a 50 for base unit, you're gonna do basically the same thing. If you win the 50, you shimmy to 100. If you miss the 50, you stay at 50. If you win the 100, you go back to 25 base unit. If you miss the 100, then the 100 becomes your base unit, and so on. So uh, again, if I went too fast, please write it down and try to follow. And that's what I had to do because lately I haven't been able to focus that much. I got health issues. All right, so we're gonna start with $25 with $10,000 bankroll, and we're gonna go with the trend. So we're gonna start with the banker, let's say, trying to find a trend. Player has two, banker has five, we win. Okay, so if we win, we increase to 50 and we stay with that same side either banker or player, we stay with it. Trying to catch terrible twos or trying to catch three set of threes or set of fours and so on. The only time we're gonna get killed if we hit a chop. So my twist on this, if we start chopping or ping pong, I'm gonna hold back. I'm gonna I'm gonna set out until the chop ends. And that's the only way we're, we're gonna win because we don't want to lose all of our winning. Uh, we lost nine player, eight banker. So so we missed. Okay. So here it says if you win fifty, go back twenty five. If you miss the fifty then the base becomes, then $50 becomes your base unit. Okay, so the last hand was a player. Our base unit is 50. Okay, got one. We got a tie, we're gonna repeat. Player has zero. Okay, so we lost the 50. And it says here, if you 
miss the 50, then stay at 50. Okay, we got a little chop situation here. Banker, 50. We stay with the 50. We got it. Okay, now, if we win the 50, we go back to 25. Okay? So, banker, 25. Player 6. Banker 3. It's a tie. So, we're going to repeat. Okay, player 2. Banker 5. Banker wins. Now, if you win 25, you go up to 50. Okay, we got the 25, so we're going up to 50. Okay, player one, banker two. Player three, and we lost the 50. So if we miss the 50, then 50 becomes our base unit. Player, 50. We don't want to chop. We got a six, we got a six. Repeat. Three, two, <laughs> reduced, and we lost. We lost the 50. So if we miss the 50, we stay at 50. I'm looking at my notes. So player got one, got reduced, and banker got two. Player has four, and banker wins. We got dragon seven. Okay, so we won the 50. If you win the 50, you go back to 25. Okay, 25 banker. That's what the Texas two-step with the trend. So it's actually one, two, player one, banker five, player four, banker wins. So we won the 25. If you win 25, you shimmy up to 50, okay? Banker 50, seven, we win. Now, if you win 50, you go, you go back to 25. Okay, 25 banker. Okay, 9-8, player wins. We lost 25. If we miss 25, we stay at 25. Okay, we go player, 25. Player five, banker three, player nine, player wins. Okay, we are up. We won 25, so now we go to 50. Player, 50. Player five, banker eight. If we lose, or if we miss the 50, then 50 becomes our base unit. Okay, banker, 50. Okay, banker wins. Player zero, banker four. When we win the 50, if you win 50, go back to 25. Banker. 25. Okay. Player three, banker three. Now we need a number. One, two, three, four, five, and six. It's a tie. Let's repeat. Player six, banker three, and player, and we lose. Player wins. So we missed 25. If you miss 
25, you stay at 25. Player. Player six, banker zero, and player wins. If we win, 25, we go up to 50. Player 50. Should have went with the trend. I was so involved in, uh, in how much I'm gonna bet, I didn't go with the trend. I'm not perfect. Okay, if we miss a 50, <laughs> our base unit becomes a 50. So let's, uh, let's go with the trend. $50 banker. We got it. We went with the trend and we got it. Okay, when we win 50, if you win 50, you go back to 25. So let's do player 25, staying with the trend or the flow. Player four, banker seven, and we got a tie. Let's repeat. Okay, player zero, banker five. We missed 25. We stay at 25. We're going with the trend. I believe it should go back to player for the, so the terrible two is going to stay. So let's do that. We stay at 25 though. We'll do what Mike says. Five, eight, player eight. We got it. Player wins. Now we go up to 50 and we're going with the trend. Player 50. See, in the beginning, I had to get used to where I'm going to bet and how much. No, I mean, how much I'm going to bet 25, 50, and what's going to happen. Now I'm going with the trend. So 50 player, we're going for the doubles. And we got it. Oh, it's a tie. <laughs> <coughs> Let's repeat. Okay, we got an eight, natural eight, to natural nine. Look at that. We couldn't even win with the nine, natural nine. It was a tie, and then we got a natural eight, and banker pulls a nine. All right. We missed a 50. If you miss $50, then $50 becomes your base unit. All right, we're going with the trend. I'm gonna skip here because I don't know what's gonna happen. I'm trying to find a trend. Okay. We got a banker. Terrible twos. Player. 25 player. Four. Zero for banker. Still four for player and five for banker. We miss. If we miss the 25, we stay with the 25. The trend. Player, three banker, player, three banker. Let's do banker. 25. And we got it. Now we're, uh, we're going up to 50. Fifty banker. I'm going with that banker. Two, eight. I missed that. <clears throat> the trend shows next one is a banker. We missed the fifty, so our base becomes stays at fifty. Okay, Mike says, we win the 50, we go back to 25. I'm going with the trend. Look at that. Pulled the nine on banker. 
We got the 25, now we're going up to 50, and we're staying with the banker. Okay, four for banker, three for player. Banker wins. We're up. We're back to 25. Banker, I'm staying with, with the trend. We got it. Now we're up to 50. And the friend here shows player, 50. Okay, we got it. 10,100, so we are up four units, or four base units. Okay, we're at 50, we're back down to 25. Banker. Oh, not happening. Okay, we missed 25. We're staying at 25. The trend I'm gonna skip. The trend, the trend. Banker wins. Okay, let's do banker, 25. <laughs> Look at that, Dragon 7. 2, 1, 4. Total 7. Okay, we got the 25. We're up to 50. Player. I'm going with the doubles or terrible twos. Haha. <laughs> Natural 9. Okay, so now 50 becomes our base. I'm going with the flow. Okay, I got the 50. Now player, back to 25. Three, five, eight, three. Player wins. Let's go back to banker. 50. Whoa. Now 50 becomes our base on banker. Seven, six. We missed. Let's skip. Looking for a trend. Die. Player. All right, now we're going for a banker. 50 was our base. Oh, players taken off. I believe it says if you miss a 50, you stay at 50. Players taken off. So let's stay at 50. Okay. Come on. Player eight. Player five, banker seven. We got it. Okay. So we'll stay with the banker. 25. Seven for player. <clears throat> We're 25, we're staying with $25, 25 player. We got this one. Banker, 50. We got it. Now banker, 25. Miss this one. 
Flare, 25. Six, six, six. Zero, one, five, three. And we got this one. <clears throat> Banker 50, going with the flow. Going with the trend. <laughs> player pulls an eye. Okay, player. Player wants to take off. All right, player. Nine to zero. Okay, now we go back to 25. Six, we got it. Okay, one lose or draw. 25, we're going up to 50, player. Looks like we're catching a tail, hopefully. Two. Got it. Okay, we are up slightly. So you gotta you gotta catch a tail. Gotta go with the flow. Fifty, we gotta go back down to twenty-five. Player. We're gonna stay with it. Seven, four, die. Six, eight, still six, zero, reduced, three, got it. We're up to 50. Staying with player, going with the trend. Die. Okay, nine. Look at that, look at that tie, double tie. Oh, you got a natural nine, you can't win. We'll come to back around. Natural eight over seven. Oops. Well, we lost a 50, now the 50 becomes our base unit, and we're going with the flare for the trend. We got it. Okay, let's try the chop. Back to 25, banker. Look at that, no chop. Okay, player, 25. Okay, one, two, one, two, so let's do a two player at 25. Six and nine. Terrible twos. Five, one, nine. We got this one, now we're up to 50 on player because we're going with the trend. Four, zero, one, six. We got it. Okay, I'm back down to 25 on banker. So, so we can do pretty good if we get a chop. There we go. We're at 25, so 50 banker. Nine. One. Three bet. Four. Eight. Got it. We have a chop situation. 10,162. We are up eight units. Pretty good uh, Texas two step with the trend. I'm sure I did it right. But if you have any comments, let me know. So a $25 base unit, if you miss, you stay with the 25. If you win, you go up to 50. If you win the 50, you go back down to 25. 
if you miss the 50, then $50 becomes your base unit. On $50 base unit, if you win the 50, you go up to 100. If you miss the 50, you stay at 50. If you win the 100, you go back to 25 base unit. If you miss the 100, then the 100 becomes your base unit and so on. That's what I gathered. Staying with the trend. We're at 50, we're supposed to go back down to 25. I'm gonna deviate from it. Our next hand should, if, it, if the, if the trend stay true, our next hand should be player. And let's do a big one. One, two, three, four thousand, five thousand. Now that's crazy. Should never do this. But I'm going for it. I see an opportunity. Yes! Yes! So, I saw an opportunity, I went for it, I can't help it. When I see, when I can see it, that comes with experience. When I see it, I go big. Now, I shouldn't have done it like that. I usually put all my profit, let's say that I'm up a thousand. I'll put the thousand, I'm playing with their money. Uh, I tried to double my money. So now we're up to 15,000, 162, 50% of all profit. I'm calling it a video. If you're new here, like and share. If you're not new here, please like and share. Thank you very much. That was crazy. I should have never done that. See you all next time.